requesting a lap around the track if possible. Aerosim Academy is all about fun people who are serious about aviation. And to the left, we're here at Daytona International Speedway. One of the great things about flying in Florida is there's a lot of sights to see, and one of those sights is the Speedway right here. I've been in Florida for five years. Goodbye, Daytona. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't be here for five years if it was a boring place to live, that's for sure. Our students choose to live in different locations around Sanford. Uh, we have uh, dormitories that are within walking distance from the campus, which is really close to the airport, which uh, I think is really convenient. And we were able to provide apartments to students in the local community. We do provide transportation through Aerosim. And also we provide transportation to some of the activities we provide for our students. And we make sure that even if students stay late, if they have a night flight or they're going to come back after 12 or 1 a.m. in the morning, that there's going to be somebody there and then they can get a ride no matter what time. So, so even if you don't have a car, you're able to go ahead and still come to school here. The Sanford base is right here in Central Florida. Central Florida is the excellent place to come and do your training. Florida weather is amazing. There's no jackets required in January. People come here from all over the world to vacation. We really stress hard work and dedication to the aviation program. However, we do encourage our students to enjoy the local community, get out, get away from flying, have some fun. Part of Student Services is keeping the students up to date on all the local events and attractions. She typically arranges field trips for the students to go on from air shows. We did the Cocoa Beach Air Show to the theme parks in the area, Universal Studios, Disney World. Orlando is not too far from Sanford, actually. We also have some of the best beaches in the world here. Uh, we got beaches in each direction. There's tons of stuff to do. I mean, I can keep going on and on. We're going to go request our approach on the shuttle landing facility. As we go by, this is a piece of American history, this uh, landing facility. Many of our shuttle missions that have gone to space have ended up here. So there's launch pad 39A is over here, and 39B is a little further south over there. Something you can't do anywhere else other than here in Florida.